What's up, people? This is your boy, Big K Solo. No question about that, guys. What's the deal? Let me lower down this TV a little bit. What's up, man? I'm about to hit you with a Rikers Island story, man. No question, as you already know. All my stories are true. All my stories are physics. And this story is going to be a good story. It's going to be a nice story because, like I said, they're all true stories. And this story is about a dude that I met in the island. I didn't know, I didn't, did not know this dude at all uh, until I met him in the island. And how I met him in the island, hold on, let me go get a gum. Hold on, give me one second, guys. Oh, God, what's my favorite gum? Right here. This is my favorite gum. Right here, the most favorite gum out here. This is what got Eric, Eric Hernandez in trouble. <laughs> trouble. Trust me, this is the gum that got Eric Hernandez in big trouble. So anyway, this story is about a dude that we used to call Ajax. Ajax, Ajax got that name because he said a story one day because he used to like coke. His thing was coke. His thing was sniff coke. And Ajax was like about 130 pounds wet. He was like 6'3", tall, skinny dude. Um, 6'3", but Ajax was soft. When I heard of Ajax, I heard uh, Ajax, um, a dude that came to the island. He was facing the body. And he was soft. People were sending his, you know, his mother was sending him commissary. And dudes was robbing him, was taking all his commissary. I believe he was even washing clothes. Now, why Ajax was so famous was because, like I said, people was robbing him for his commissary. I'm talking about it was so bad that it was being known all over C-74 that this kid was getting robbed. So my boy, my boy named Honey, a.k.a. Honeybee, introduced me to him because, like I said, he was Puerto Rican. And sometimes we used to talk to the Puerto Rican dudes that was getting beat up, that was washing clothes and all that stuff. We used to, like, try to tell them, like, yo, listen, man, you got to step up your game. You got to stop that, man. You can't have, you can't be washing these people's clothes, man. You know, you got to you gotta do something, bro. And some people was like, what can you do, Solo? The, his bed was already made. Everybody know what's up with him. So he's going to have that problem regardless. I said, no, he's not. He ain't going to have that problem until he takes a fucking school job and sticks into somebody's ass. Then they're going to start leaving him alone. You understand what I'm saying? The devil got to come at this dude. Okay. Like I said, Ajax. Ajax got his name because he loved coke. And one day, he told us a story that one day he saw some powder. And he thought it was Coke. And when he took two hits out of it, it was Ajax. His boy played the trick on him. And, um, you know, he 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 cut his boy. As a matter of fact, he didn't cut him, bro. He, he stabbed him. That's why he went to jail. Because he stabbed his boy because his boy played him a trick with Ajax. And, you know, it probably fucked him up. You know, he was embarrassed. And he took a 007 and stabbed his boy like three times. And he went to jail He and he was fighting that case, a murder case. So Ajax didn't have, you know, saying nothing to lose because they, you know, it was all the, I mean, the guy's girlfriend was there. So she snitched on him. Plus the guy's sister was there. So, you know, and matter of fact, I think one of the guy's brothers snitched on Ajax too. You know, the guy that got stabbed, I think his brother was there too. So anyway, when Ajax came to the island, he was already in the island first than me. And um, I think this was in 80, 86. 86, 86. I remember because I just came home from the 85 bit. And 
three months later, I got knocked again for, for some drugs, selling drugs. That's when the crack came out. And they called me with like 30 capsules. And I went and I did a little punk ass four months. But before I did the four months, I was in C-74 for two months. So anyway, I got to meet Ajax because I got to go to his house when I got thrown out. When I beat the shit out of this dude named Freedom. Freedom was a 5%er. Well, I beat the shit out of Freedom because Freedom was a fucking bully. A bully. Bonafide bully. I mean, he used to pick on Puerto Ricans. He used to pick on Dominicans. He used to pick on his own blacks. Seriously, okay? And there was rumors that he was a booty bander. I don't know how to do that, but that was a rumor. And and I remember that some of the five percenters wanted to catch him and act. So the five percenters was watching him, you know what I'm saying? See if he slips. And he goes after these one of these one of these chumps. And I'm talking about chumps, I'm talking about homo. And I got hey, I was a lot of people saying that it was true that he was looking for peanut butter. You understand what I'm saying? That means he was fucking with chumps. So anyway, Ajax, like I said, I was in six upper. No, I was in uh, four main. And Ajax was in four upper. So we kept hearing the noise about, you know, this dude named Ajax, blah, 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 how niggas are picking on him and shit like that. And how he's, you know, saying, there was, like I said, there was rumors of him washing clothes. I don't know how true it is. I don't know the facts on it. But it looks really solid. You know, the facts look really solid that he was. So, one day, Ajax gets a phone call, a phone call that you would never want in prison. You would never, ever want that person, that, that, that phone call. I, I had it twice. The first time I had that phone call, it affected me, but not that much because my grandmother was a bitch. You know, I loved my grandmother. I loved her. My mother's mother, I loved her, but she had no love for me. She was the lady that every time I had to go to the house, you know, to her house to visit her, she used to be like, hey, how you doing, black nigga? You dirty nigga. So I'm thinking that, you know, and if you tell me that in Spanish, negro sucio, dirty nigga. You know what I'm saying? You dirty, you black, dirty, whatever the fuck. At one time, I thought it was like, I love you. That I told my mother one time, I said, mommy, I'm your negro sucio, right? My mother said, you might what? I said, yeah, negro sucio. My mother was like, where you got that word from? Well, that's what my mom tells me every day. Every time I go to my grandma's house, that's what she tells me, negro sucio. Yeah, my mother had my mother let my grandmother have it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, there was no love lost. So when they told me that my grandmother my grandmother passed away, it affected me a little just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not that much. Um the one that affected me was a lot was when they called me to let me know that Virginia got murdered. That's the one that fucked me up. So you guys don't want that phone call. Never want that phone call. Trust me. When a priest you in the island, Rikers Island or upstate you don't want that phone call, man. Guarantee you, you don't want that phone call. So, Ajax got a phone call. His mother. His mother. His mother got robbed. And when she got robbed, she was a nurse. And when she was coming out of work, she used to work right there in St. Barnabas Hospital in the Bronx. When she came out of the hospital... She was going up to where she lived that by 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 um one eighty third one no she lived that by one eighty first in in Cotona. and when she was walking there she had to go to the part of the little Italy part and of course these motherfucking Italians you know with all due respect not all Italians are bastards but a lot of them was the bastards back then they took her in and. Yeah, they did. They, they did. A, they did a number on her, man. They did a really number on her. I think she probably was gonna like, okay, let them, let them uh, play with me, let them, you know, whatever. But no, they killed her. You know, it's, it's bad. It's bad. But anyway, when Ajax found that out, overnight, 
overnight, he turned to somebody else, bro. This man was an angel. Overnight, he turned to a devil. My brother's Ajax cut like about 14 people. Okay? Like 14 people. Once his mother passed away like that, AJ did not cut nobody. AJ didn't have no cuts, no fights. The only fights he had was the fights that they to put him to fight um, in the day room to see who's going to be King Crab. King Crab is uh, every Sunday they put you to fight. So from the pussies or the other chumps or what, what people call them now day room dummies, whatever. So what they used to do was they just said like, okay, you fought last week, you beat such and such. So now you got to um, um, head up with such and such again to see if you willing, if you if if you willing, if you if 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 you earn the title to fight him for the championship. And this is something that every week, every Friday we used to do. If it was not Friday, it was Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they used to go at it, but I'm talking about they used to go at the button. I mean, boom, ping, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Just to have, and if they win, this is what they used to get. They used to hang out with us for a whole week. Hang out with us. Their commissary is theirs. They go to commissary. They, they, all their commissary is theirs. They don't have to watch no clothes. They don't got to watch nobody sell. They don't got to do none of that shit. They're living the life of Riley. You understand what I'm saying? So he fucked up, kid. So don't feel bad. You know what I'm saying for anything. But this is this is how it is, right? When Ajax, when Ajax, how can I say this, man? You know, when Ajax started wilding out, that he came to my house. That's when I started telling him, I was like, "Yo, Ajax." You know, that's when I met him. My boy introduced me to him. And we was like, yo, Ajax, this is a good house. We don't have no 5% of money shit here. Uh, every man could use the phone. We don't have no black, no Spanish phones, none of that shit. That's one thing I hated about jail. Black and Spanish phones, I hated that. Be that, that, that. You can't get no racist than that, bro. So when I got to that house, B, I took that shit down, B. That racist shit, I took that shit down. So anyway, so when Ajax got to the house, we explained to Ajax me. And my man, Tommy Hill. Tommy Hill was a 5 percenter. Oh, Tommy Hill and Aki. Aki was a 5 percent. I mean, Tommy Hill was a 5 percent and Aki was a Muslim. So we had Spanish power, Muslim power, and 5 percent of power. We broke it down. You feel me? Now, the phone, it was run from 8 o'clock in the morning from 7, that the phone goes on, from 7 o'clock in the morning, all the way to 5 o'clock, and was dead. People that got slot times take over the phone at 5 o'clock. See, at one time, this is no lie, I swear to everything I love, I had three hours and this was like an L module. But the house I'm talking about now, that was in C95, but this house is C74. And C74, I always liked the, the late the late hours, 10 to 11. Always loved that hour because that's the hour that your wife is at home. She works in the daytime. Um, no. She works in the daytime and... You could call her at 11 o'clock and she's in the house and you can have a decent conversation with her. Sometimes she used to be tired because, you know, she wakes up at, at, at 6 o'clock in the morning, leaves the house at 7, get to work about 8-something, and here we go. You know what I'm saying? And then she's waiting for me to call her at 10 o'clock. I call her sometime, well, most of the time, we used to stay the whole click. Talking about the whole shakana. Back in that time, they didn't have no click. Back in that time, it was automatic. So we just stayed the whole hour just talking. Never was boring. Never was boring. Never was boring. Because when you have love for each other, that's going to supersede everything. So anyway, back to Ajax. Ajax right now was a terror. 
Ajax became a terror. They let Ajax go to see his mother in the funeral when he came back, bro. Ajax left and he never came back. Because who came back was the devil. The devil. I had a fight with Ajax. I had a fight where I had to put the beast on him. We made up and everything and he became my boy again. But Ajax was so furious and so possessed that he didn't give a fuck about starting a fight with anybody. Being honest to you. Until, you know, I had to put him in place and then we became friends again. But Ajax, like I said, he already had a few cuts. He already blazed a few dudes, man. And he blazed a lot of five percenters. Because he figured that the five percenters were the ones that put him in that in that position. He said, yo, don't do put me in that same position, you know what I'm saying? That I gotta live like an animal, and that's what he did, bro. He lived like an animal. You know, so a couple of weeks passes by and you know, it's fucked up, but it happens. The rumor was that a CO set him up. CO started this rumor about Flacco, you know, not doing good. I mean, Flacco, you hear me? Um, they put out a rumor that that this dude was not doing so good mentally. And I'm talking about, you know, my man, Ajax, that Ajax not doing good mentally, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 you know, I didn't, I was not seeing Ajax too much because remember I you know he was in my you know he got to my house that's for my house we had that little fight that was, yeah it was that was not even a fight because you know it was like about a minute type of thing and I had him in the floor already and I stopped hitting him but the CEO caught that he threw me out he threw Ajax out and you know and um, he went to the next door I was on this side, he was on the other side, so it was all gravy, it was all gravy, we still became friends, we still blah, 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 you know what I'm saying, but, the, you know, I just heard something, you know, I mean, I didn't hear nothing, that's not, you hear me what I'm saying, I, I heard something a couple of months ago that he passed away, now, I don't know if AJ passed away or what, but if AJ did pass away, man, you know, my condolence, um, just hit me up one the once in the blue moon hit me up, my brother, okay? And um you already know what's up, man. This is your boy K Solo. And this is a little story about Ajax, man, but I couldn't give it to you guys better, but I'm right now falling asleep. If you see I'm falling asleep now. I broke night another night breaking night. Yeah, man, breaking night, I blame the goddamn T V bro for this shit. I mean the goddamn cable. I'm looking at the cable and I'm looking at the phone at the same time. I could be looking at the cable on the phone. And over here, I go on the cable, too. That's crazy. But anyway, this is your boy, K-Solo, man. Love you guys, man. Um, I might come back and touch up on that on that story. Who knows? If it comes out all right, you guys got it, all right? Nothing but love for you people, man. This is your boy, K-Solo. Enjoy the story, man. Holla, bitch, dag.